and welcome back to my channel. This is Rook Coco and today I'm gonna show you the ways to earn rubies in my secret bistro. Before we start, I would just like to address a very simple question from our new players. What rubies are for? You can use rubies to buy a lot of important items in the game like the income decker. The income decker will be useful to you, especially if you're a new player. It generates both gold coins and experience that will boost you in the game. And since you have an idea about rubies, let's get started. Taking the first spot is login reward. So just keep on logging into the game and you can get a chance to earn rubies. In the event that you forgot to claim your login reward, just click this board here and you'll get your rubies. Next is the Lovey Dovey Box. So the Lovey Dovey Box is given to you every single day by your staff. And the reward varies depending on the rarity of the staff that you put in your restaurant. So, double S grade staff gives you rubies. But the lower grade staff only gives you coins or hearts. Alright, so since this is a cooking game, it's only natural to get a reward for every upgrade of your recipe or your dishes. So, you will get one ruby if you upgrade your basic dishes or your normal dishes in my secret bistro so just keep on cooking leveling up will not only give you more access in the game more features and more quests it will also give you rubies so keep on applying for part-time jobs keep on clicking and keep on doing your quests to level up fast in this game Most games nowadays will give you a reward after watching an advert. And My Secret Bistro is one of them. So there are two ways to watch an advert. One is by going through here. And the other one is through your mailbox or your post that you will find just beside the friends icon on the lower left side of your screen. Another way to get ruby is through side quests. So sometimes getting a ruby from a side quest has a time limit. So you have to do the quest right away to get that ruby. And another tip, if you see this yellow exclamation point on top of the head of your customer or the non-player character click it and it will give you a additional quest that rewards you with rubies earlier we talked about getting rubies after leveling up but that's not all after leveling up the system will give you a level up pot and the level up pot contains a lot of rewards and one of those are rubies so watch out for those level up pots you can also get free rubies in the lucky box so let's say the game gives you a lot of red tickets if you don't know red tickets will give you a free chance to draw in the lucky box and one of the reward is 30 rubies so if you happen to have a lot of red ticket and you get a lot of rubies, then that's awesome, right? The game also has a weekly challenge and it gives you five rubies each. The weekly challenge has a four category, so that's a whopping $20 each week. So if you're really addicted to the game, play every day and strive to meet the requirements to get that five rubies the game will give you an enormous amount of rubies just by collecting stuff you will get 50 to 100 rubies 
if you collect fairy tale and event staff which are A and S grade. You will also get 5 to 10 rubies if you collect the lower grade staff. So just keep on collecting them. Each month, the game also creates an event that gives the players an opportunity to earn more rubies. So an example is upgrading your S grade staff to a double S grade and it will give you a reward or upgrading your A grade staff to an S grade. And another example is by an accumulated purchase through the store using your real money. So it will not only give you rubies but a lot of things. But you need to use your real money so it's up to you. Whew. We're finally down to the last one. So the last way to get a ruby is through recommendations and recommending a friend. So by recommending a friend, you will get 10 rubies. And if a friend recommends you, you will get 30 rubies. And you can only recommend once. But other people can recommend you all the time. There is no limit. But the rewards are also limited. So what I suggest is for you to invite your friends to play the game and ask them to recommend you. Uh, recommendations for me is like referral. You know those games where you refer somebody or invite somebody and then you get rewards. It's like the recommendations in the game but they just call it recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Rococo. And see you on my next video. If you have any comments, please comment down below. And have a great day. Bye-bye.